Hi St Francis School, it's Sarah here and it's great to be back with you. Um, hope your week is going okay. You might be at school, you might be at home. Um, I'm at home at the moment and uh, it's great to be with you wherever you are. Well, you found me in my dining room and you might say, what? What are you doing there? And uh, I wanted to show you a couple of things. Uh, and the first thing is absolutely nothing to do with assembly today because a while back I showed you something that I was making out of Lego. I don't know if you can remember what that was, but I have a Lego camper van and I wanted to show you that I finished it. Yay! Here it is. Look, there it is. There's the front. And let me just show you around the side. You can get in the door here. And the roof pops up. How cool is that? And in fact, you can even take the roof off and have a look inside. So there's like a bed and a table and a glass and a tap. Amazing. We'll put that back anyway. away. The other reason I'm in my dining room is that it's not really a dining room at the moment. I am using it as a studio to broadcast the church services from. Um, but that's not why I'm showing it to you either. The reason I'm in my dining room is there are lots of presents that people have given me in this room. So I thought I'd show you a few of them. Here's the first one. Look, it's a picture. Can you tell what it's of? It's a picture of Jesus and 12 disciples. And it's from a place in Africa called Uganda. And I had some really good friends who worked out there and who got me this picture and I really love it. And here are some more presents. That was a picture that somebody gave me of a place in England called Cambridge. And I used to live there and they gave me that picture when I left. In fact, they painted it for me. And there's this, which is a wooden map of Jersey, which is where I'm from. And my sister gave me that. It was a really kind present when I got made into a vicar. Then there's this beautiful dish. And that was a present from some friends after they'd been to stay with me. Um, another really kind gift. Now, this is quite a cool gift. It's some flowers with a candle in the middle. And this was something that somebody at church did. It was a really kind thing. It was the Christmas flowers and they thought, oh, do you know what? It would be really nice if there was a candle and some lovely flowers in the background for our church services. So they just made this flower arrangement for our church services. So that's really cool. And here's something really cool. Here are some amazing balloons. Now, it was my birthday the other day, so somebody got me these beautiful balloons. I love them. They're so much fun, aren't they? Well, we'll think more about gifts in a moment, but I wanted to tell you about somebody called Therese. And she lived more than 140 years ago in France. And she was born uh, on the 2nd of January, 1873. And she died just 24 years later. But she lived a very important life and people still remember her today. Her mum died when she was really young, just four, and that left her dad to bring up five children. And one of her big sisters took over running the household um, and her oldest sister took over telling all the children about God. And when she was 14, Therese decided that she wanted to give all of her life to God. So she became a nun, somebody who goes to live with others and who gives their life to God. Now, we can all give our lives to God, but some people choose to do it by becoming a nun. And that's brilliant. They spend quite a lot of time caring for others and often praying a lot. Poor old Therese struggled with being ill all her life. Um, but even so, she was known for being really fun and uh, loving working with other nuns at any task at all. But she did become quite ill later in her life and she had to be in hospital for the last few years of her life. Now, she was made a saint in 1925 and a saint is a person who's a really good example to us because he or she lived a special life and had special gifts. 
And although she didn't have a very long life, she used every moment of that life to care for other people. And her best known saying is this, and I'm going to show it to us on the screen. Her best known saying, oh, hang on. First of all, we've got a picture of Therese herself. That's when she was only 16 and she became a nun. Um, and this is her favorite saying, what matters is not great deeds, but great love. And she was somebody who loved to give little gifts to other people and particularly flowers, which is why I've put a picture of a flower there. She loved giving gifts to people just because she loved them or doing really kind things for them. And Therese knew that she wasn't very strong, she wasn't able uh, to do really big things, but she made a really big difference to people's lives just by doing small things with great love. And very often those are the things that touch us the most, aren't they? Just the little things that show people care. Now, at the start of this assembly, I showed you a lot of gifts that people have given to me. And in a way, they're quite big things. They've given me quite big gifts. But the thing that I love about them isn't their size or anything like that. It's that people cared enough to give me things that are really special and that I have to remember them. They did something really kind for me. But doing small things really kindly doesn't have to be about giving a gift we can do lots of lovely things for other people that don't cost us anything at all and i wonder if you'd just like to stop this video for a moment and have a think of something that we can do that would just show how much we love somebody how kind we can be to somebody why don't you just stop the clip and have a chat about that now Well, I wonder what you thought of. Maybe you just thought about how you might be able to listen to a friend, particularly if they're feeling a bit upset at the moment. Or maybe you could drop them a little note through their door. We're not allowed to go around and visit people and play with people at the moment, but maybe you could write them a little note and drop it over through their door. Maybe you could help somebody around the house at the moment. Um, maybe you could do a bit of washing up or a bit of tidying if you're at home at the moment and everybody else is at home too. Things can just get really messy, can't they? That's what I find in our house. And sometimes just tidying up, even if you didn't make the mess, could be a really kind thing to do. Now, that's something I'm very bad at. I'm really bad at tidying up but I know that it's a really kind thing for me to do. And sometimes that helps me to actually go tidy up because people will really appreciate it if I do. Maybe we could just say thank you to people who have been kind to us and helped us. Just imagine if we all did small acts of kindness all the time, we could really change the world, couldn't we? And it's a bit like Therese, she changed the world and she just did very small acts of kindness all the time. She did small things with great love. Why don't you just close your eyes for a moment wherever you are and think about a little thing that someone has done for you that made you feel really special or really happy. It might have been a gift, but it might have just been some kind words or asking you to play with them or anything like that. And maybe you could decide to do something today that makes somebody else feel really special. Why don't we say a prayer as we finish our time together? Let's pray. Dear God, Thank you for people who do things for me that make me feel happy and loved. And I'm going to leave a gap for you in this prayer to say thank you to God for anybody that you would like to thank him for that makes you feel special and loved. So thank you, God, especially for think of who it is. God, please would you help me to do something today to show somebody that I care about them. And God, thank you 
that you love us so much and that you think we are really special. Amen. Bye for now, St Francis. See you again soon.